Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video I'll show how to integrate Sonarcube with Azure Pipeline to run static code analysis. So let's start with what is Sonarcube. Sonarcube is an open source tool which does the automatic review of the code. It is available in Community Edition which is free and the paid version. So if we'll talk about the Community version, it has multiple features as you can see on your screen. It can do the static code analysis for more than 25 programming languages. It can detect the bug and the vulnerabilities. In the bug detection, it actually finds the quality of the code too. And in the vulnerability, there are multiple type of vulnerabilities like high risk vulnerability or the low risk vulnerabilities. In the case of code smell tracking, it checks whether the good coding practices has been performed or not. For security hotspot, it checks whether a particular code block can have a security concern. For technical debt, project maintainability is checked. And similarly, the code quality metrics and different histories are shown. And the community version can integrate with the CI-CD pipelines. And it has extensions and multiple plugins for most of the famous pipelines available. So this is the Sonarcube dashboard, where you can see the bugs, vulnerabilities, security hotspots, and what's the debt as well as the code smells. If we'll click on a particular code smell, then it will show all the issues which are there. Now in the demo, I'll show how to integrate Sonarcube with the Azure YAML pipeline. Then I'll show the analysis in the Sonarcube dashboard. So let's start. So I have created one server where I have installed the Sonarcube and it's all ready. I have logged it into Sonarcube and this is the first step is coming. There is no project right now. So we'll just create a project. From Azure DevOps, Sonarcube integration, we'll give the name. Now we have to provide the DevOps URL. So let's go to the DevOps. This is the DevOps URL. This is the organization name, Lab Shalindu. I'll provide the DevOps URL now. And I have to create a personal access token, which I've already created. You can create it by clicking on the user, go to the security, and create personal access token. I have already created for the Sonar token. So let me fetch it. So I'm providing the token here and save configuration. Let's provide the token again and list repos. So now, as you can see, there are two projects available, Terraform DevOps and the YouTube app service. So this is the one which we'll be using. Set up the repository and we want to integrate it with the CI CD pipeline. So let's click on this. So first of all, we have to install the Sonarcube extension for DevOps. So if we'll go here, click on this marketplace, you can see the manage extension. Right now, Sonarcube extensions is already installed by me, but if we'll browse marketplace, if we'll write Sonarcube, you can see there is an extension of Sonarcube. You have to click on get it free and it will be installed. In. So for me, it's already installed. So let's check the next step. We have done this. Now in the project settings, we have to create a service connection for the Sonarcube. So let's go to the project settings. Let's go to this project, project settings, service connection, create a new service connection search for sonar next and look for server url which you can find here then the token generate a new token generate provide the new token here and the service connection name sonar cube we will provide and grant access to all the pipelines and save. So now a new service connection is created. Let's continue. And now we have to provide which programming language are we using for the code analysis. So in this case, we are using .NET. If I'll quickly go to my GitHub, web apps on our test is the GitHub repo, which I have created. I have created a very basic and simple application using Visual Studio. 
So if we'll go to the Visual Studio, create a new project. And ASP.NET Core Web Application, I've selected. I'll give the name, any name. I'll not create it, this is already done by me. So I have uploaded in the repo. So I'm just showing how I created it. Let's create and then select the web application. And this is how I created a .NET web application. We don't need to do. So the project file, SLN file, and all the web files are present here. So let's go back. And we'll choose the .NET here. And these are the steps which are provided to create the pipeline. So let's start by creating a pipeline now. We'll go to the pipeline. Let's create a new pipeline. So our repository is present in GitHub. So I'll choose the GitHub now. So we are going to use the web apps on our test. Let's click on this. And it's a ASP.NET Core project. So let's click on it. So most of the steps are created here. The trigger is the master pool is VM image. So it's Azure self hosted agent, which we are using the windows agent for the variable. It's looking for SLN. If I go to the GitHub, SLN is present in the main folder itself. So let's change this. We don't want to look inside. This is the only change. Then steps, there are multiple steps. It's installing the NuGet, then it's running the command, then it's building VS build, it's Visual Studio build, then it's testing. So this is just the build step. What we want to do is we want to create three steps. First is build step along with the Sonar testing step. Then we'll add approval step, staging approval, because where we want to check if the code analysis is correct, then we want to approve it. Otherwise we'll deny it. And the third one is deployment to app services. So here it's directly mentioned the steps, but I would like to create the jobs. Then there will be three different jobs. So let's create jobs. job first one is build job and all the steps will come under it so now if you follow the sonar steps it's mentioned that first we have to create a pipeline and before the build task we have to run the prepare analysis configuration so let's run this step so this is the build step before the build step Let's add this prepare analysis configuration. We'll use the endpoint, which is Sonakia, which we have created and integrate with MS build and the project key we have to provide. So you have to choose integrate with MS build and this is the project key. So let's provide the project key and add the step is added. Let's check another step. Add a run code analysis after the build task. So we have to run this task after build. So we are after the build task. Let's look for it. Run code analysis. It's added. And the third task is publish quality gate results into the sonar cube. We'll give the default timeout and it's added. So now all the steps for the build are added now. What this will do is uh, this will publish all the analysis into the sonar dashboard. So we have done this, finish this tutorial and it's waiting for the first analysis to come in. But before this, let's add a few more steps. Let's add the approval step. 
because we don't want, uh, because we don't want to publish anything till we check the dashboard waiting approval I'll give the name and it depends on the build step let's copy the name from there we have to define the pool as the server because it's running on the self-hosted server and timeout I'm under in minutes. I'll give 1000 minutes. So let's define the steps now. And in the task, uh, in the task, I'd file the manual validation. Let's give the manual validation. So I want my email ID to be notified. Timeout ready. Please check. Sonar. Why did this step now? And the final step will be deploying to app service. Deploy step, which depends on the waiting approval step. Sorry, my bad. Spelling mistake. And let's add the task of web app. So this is the service connection. App type will be on Windows. Let's select the web app too. An ad. Sorry, before that, we have to add the steps and it's done. So, now first it's installing the packages like Nougat package and preparing the Sonar Cube, then it will run the build, then the Sonar Cube analysis will run and it will publish the analysis into the Sonar Cube dashboard. And once that is done, the VS test will happen, whether it's fine or not. The pipeline will wait for the approval for 1000 minutes. If I'll approve, then it'll move to another step where it'll deploy to the Azure app service. I forgot one step here, which is publishing the build, which means it will create a zip file of the build and later we'll deploy the zip file into the app service. So let me add that step. .NET Co. It's a published step project zip file. It's added. So now it will publish. First build will happen. So now we'll upload everything. Then it will publish. A zip file will be created. Then it will wait for the approval. We can reject or approve. And, and finally it will deploy to app service. Let's run this task. Let's go to the build step. Other steps are waiting approval and deploy. Once agent is ready, it will start running. This is Azure hosted agent. As you can see, the pool is Azure pipelines, images, Windows latest. It's automatically picking up uh, Windows 2019. Now the build process is initiated. It's downloading all the different tasks. And now it's downloading all the files from the repo, GitHub repo. NuGet tool is installed and it's running the NuGet command now. So now cube is getting prepared. Now the ASP.NET application is getting built. The build is complete. And next step is static code analysis. Now the Sonar Cube will do the static code analysis and in published step, 
it will publish everything into the dashboard. So let's wait for this to finish. The time being, if you want to know how to install Sonarcube in Ubuntu, I have created one blog for this. So this is my blog where you can see I have provided all the steps how to install and set up the Sonarcube. You can follow all these steps on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and then your dashboard will be ready. So all the steps are done so now it's waiting approval as you can see it's in review whether we have to reject or resume and it has four bugs two security hotspots it has debt of one hour 15 minutes and 15 code smells so let's check the bugs so duplicate entries are there unexpected missing generic font family it's not always the real bugs it's the quality issues which can create the bugs. Same way, if we'll talk about the security hotspot, it can lead to denial of service attack and it has a medium impact. So that's why if you look here, all the conditions are passed. And for the different code smell, it's looking for the good coding practices, whether those are being followed or not. You can ignore these and in this case, we will ignore, but if you'll follow these practices, then there will be less issues with the code. Go to the pipeline, resume, and manual validation is done. And now in the deploy stage, the code will be deployed to the Azure app service. The reason deploy is failed is because it downloaded the repo again into the same folder and now all the files are gone. So what we have to do in this case is go back to the pipeline, run all the steps again after the approval, all the build step and publish step. So let's quickly copy those steps. So both the packages should be installed. We can ignore the Sonar cube. For now, I'll just copy paste and then remove it later and publish. We'll go to the task. If we'll go to the deploy job in the steps, let's copy them here. They are copied and we'll remove the Sonar cube step because that is already done. After that, we have approved the pipeline and it should be all good now. So let's save, run it again. I'll fast forward it to the deploy step only. So now in this deploy step, we have added the build again because all the repositories are getting downloaded again in this. So it, it has initialized the job and it's downloading all the tasks. The folder where previously the zip file was published was wiped away because all the files were downloaded again. So now we are running the build again and then we'll deploy. So now the Azure app service is getting deployed successfully deployed web package. Let's go to our app service. It's web app two. So if you click on the URL, you can see the welcome sample ASP.NET web application is deployed. So if I'll summarize in this video, first we integrated the SonarCube with the Azure pipeline where we first ran the build and then ran the sonar cube analysis after the build was done there was next job which was to approve the pipeline whether we have to reject it and approve it based on checking the sonar cube dashboard once we approve it we have to run the build again so that we have all the files and then publish to create a zip file and that zip file is uploaded into the azure app service and this is how we deployed the azure app service by doing the static code analysis. If there are any vulnerabilities, then we have to first fix the vulnerability and we'll reject the pipeline. So this is all for this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.